Hello YouTube, this is Augustus Larch. This is uh, a Bobcat Killed My Chickens vlog. You know, on YouTube, I'm a skier, and I made a couple videos about snowmobiles wrecking my tracks. And the snowmobilers come back with, oh man, you greenie, you dope smoker, all this other crap. Uh, they don't even know me. Tree hugger, nothing. You know what I do to trees? I strip them of their bark and turn them into timbers, you know? There's plenty of trees out there. Uh, I'm not a greenie. In fact, I'm anti-green. I've got a thing called uh, the green movement fixes the price of oil. And I do have firearms, and people listen to my videos and my Kate Bush people they don't like that I have firearms and stuff and I, but I got them for vermin because a bobcat killed my chickens and I had this big dream if you ever seen the egg and I it's with Fred McMurray he was in Flubber well he made a movie before that and he launched the career of Mom Pa Kettle but he, he's this guy and he quits his job and he has a nice place in the city and he goes and moves out to the country to this whole derelict chicken farm and gets it going again and I was gonna get a chicken farm going and I had one until the DNR around here decided that they were gonna have a large-scale kill-off of the deer population and they let people uh, shoot a deer and leave it to rot mmm why 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 and these are cattlemen and people and you think they have some sense of something going on you know that they shouldn't be just shooting deer indiscriminately and leaving them all over the place for predators to find them and it supported a big population of uh, turkey vultures. There was black vultures that came along. Of uh, uh, all this, the bobcats population went up. Coyote population went way up, and uh, it could have been a combination of po uh, coyotes, but I think it was a bobcat because coyotes would have drugged it all away and been fighting over it, and this bobcat just killed all the chickens and then ate one. And then I had ducks, and it killed that too. And uh, my egg and I idyllic vision of the future with my chickens didn't really, my chickens ended up as bait. And uh, people brought more chickens over to me and, and I put up a fence and I was checking on them and everything, you know, and the bobcat came in the middle of the night and killed my chickens. And I have to work during the day, so I was gone all day during to working and, and my job. and. I mean, I'm more used to uh, mammals, you know, the birds. I wish they could run away. <laughs> but they'll hold their ground and fight. And they, all of them will die. Uh, it was tough making chickens out of here. I have to improve my facilities and I have to make a way so I can grow my own feed for the chickens. So the planner project of cutting down some trees, I have some picked out. I like nice straight ones to make nice timbers for planters. And I want to make a bunch of whole bunch of planters and so I can grow. I'll get a nice stockpile of chicken feed and I'm going to get a corn cracking mill and all this stuff and get going with that this summer. Whenever the economy keeps rolling a little bit again because I'm taking a hit because of that. Well, this is a bobcat killed all my chickens blog and that's why I have firearms on hand uh, just in case I see one of those bobcats or coyotes that are too close to the house I'll make it known I'll shoot one of them and leave it out there as a testament to the other predators to say this area is off limits and one time I had a rabid raccoon on my front steps and I had to shoot it that's weird. So that's why I have firearms, because the bobcat killed all my chickens. Anyway, I have no more notes on this. So, thank you for watching YouTube. This is Augustus. <laughs>